Hi, I'm Jack Arzola. Hi, I'm Megan Arzola. Hello, my name is Michael Lamp. Before coming to Christ, my life was about me. I wasn't concerned about others, and I wasn't concerned about living my life in accordance with the Lord's commandments. My heart had a lot of wickedness inside, mostly a lot of anger, hostility, and resentment. For as long as I can remember, I have known Christ. However, I have not always worked on my relationship with Him. The biggest problem for me was navigating pressures of non-believers and being led astray. So uh, before coming to Christ, um, my life was full of survival mode. I'd lived years of extreme trauma and, and violence that had led me to think I was in control. And through those actions, I alienated myself from all family, friends, um, and tried to survive each day under my rules. I'd been off and on in church, basically uh, only holidays until I met my wife, Megan. My faith strengthened when my wife and uh, first boy almost died during birth, but instead were saved by the Lord. But I still didn't have a personal relationship with God. The first or second Sunday that we came here to Southern Calvert, Pastor Steve did his usual prayer and invitational. And as he was asking, have you ever accepted Christ as your Savior? It occurred to me that at no point in my life had I ever poured out my heart to God and asked Him to rescue me. And for the rest of my life, I'll remember this as the moment of my salvation because the Lord answered my prayer, came strongly into my life and changed me overnight. My parents have always guided me to understand who Christ is. There are many moments where I have felt the Holy Spirit and fully surrendered my struggles to His control. The most significant event was when I was pregnant with my first child and we were both at, on death's door. It was truly a miracle we both survived, especially my child who came into this world completely healthy. So throughout my adult life, um, I knew I was missing something. I mean, I always believed uh, in some sort of Christ, but I, I didn't have the direction. Um, then one day, a year ago, my best friend invited me to Southern Baptist, Southern Calder, Calvert Baptist, and uh, it was an amazing uh, week. And then I started joining the Connect group and learning and reading each week. And, and I realized and throughout the year, I, it grew, I grew. I mean, I realized this is what I needed for um, my life. My entire world has been flipped upside down. I used to live my life according to my desires, but now I'm looking to God to lead my life. Anger has been replaced by joy. Distrust has been replaced with trust. Resentment has been replaced with forgiveness. I used to think, what can I do for myself? But now I think, what can I do for others? I used to keep to myself about Christ, but now I'm vocal, looking for opportunities to share my testimony and the gospel with others. I want to be baptized to share my testimony with others and to publicly profess my faith. God has impacted my life in more ways than I could discuss. I have more blessings and prayers answered when I am not even worthy of it. These blessings could not be without God. I'm different now with a deepened faith and truly leaving my life in God's hands. I used to be a huge planner while still knowing my plans were at the mercy of God. Now I don't plan at all and instead pray for God to lead me where I'm needed and to reveal His plans for me. I want to be baptized to follow Jesus' commandment and publicly profess my love for and faith in Jesus. So since uh, finding Christ, it's like a cloud has been lifted. Um, two years ago, I did not expect to be here on, on earth and I was looking to find a way out. Um, now I have hope. I, I study the scriptures daily um, and I, I understand that I'm not in control, but I have a purpose here um, beyond the past um, and a path forward. I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I